You? Is anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends, the Goldbergs, are here. Brought to you by Does, the new kind of soap for everything in your wash. First, let's drop in on the Dozem family. Oh, there's Unky Dozem with his camera again. He's photographing Ma while she's trying to hang her wash on the line. Unky's telling her... Say, Ma, I'm going to send these pictures of you hanging out your Does wash to Proctor and Gamble. But, Unky, they don't want pictures of me. Does is their new soap discovery. They know it does everything in my wash. Well, we'll send them real pictures showing how Does does my overalls and work shirts and towels and, and even Daisy's rayon do funnies. Now, 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 hold still, Ma. Oh. I want a picture of you holding that work shirt. Ha, ha, got it? Oh, and me looking a sight. Well, them work shirts look mighty swell. Mm, they sure do, Unky. Does get them clean easy. No hard scrubbing. Or fussing with a bar soap, even. Why, Does gets dirt out all by itself. Yeah, that's right, Ma. <laughs> Come on, now. I want to get a shot of you and them towels. Sadie, <laughs> got it. But, Anki, my hair's a mess. Well, them towels sure look nice dazzling in the sun. Of course. I always say no soap made gets towels and linens whiter and does. Now, 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 hold it, Ma. I want to take a color shot of you posing with them rayon panties. <laughs> now, uh, there. Oh, Anki, I take awful pictures. Oh, you look pretty, Ma. And so do the colors in those nice things you does. Well, I don't need any picture to see that colors stay bright longer with does. Yet you can't beat it for getting out tough dirt. Uh, now, Ma, you take a snap of me holding this big red box of does, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Next, you'll be wanting your picture put right on the box. <laughs> well, I always say nothing's too good for does. <laughs> oh, and nothing's too good for you ladies on wash day. So try does. Because compared to other leading granulated wash day soaps, Does gives longer life to colors, plus unsurpassed whiteness and real cleaning power for the dirtiest clothes. Does, D-U-Z, does everything in your wash. And now, the Goldbergs. Well, Molly Goldberg has gotten herself into the tightest situation of all her life. The cause, of course, came from the goodness of her heart and from her habit of trying to help everyone she can. This time it was Grace, the cheat, liar, and petty thief who came to Lastenbury posing as Molly's daughter-in-law. Grace and her real husband, George, worked together on the scheme to swindle the Goldbergs. But even after George confessed their guilt to Molly, she tried to reform the girl and never told anyone who Grace really was. Grace repaid Molly by running off with some charitable funds being raised to help delinquent children and then to cap it. Molly, confused and worried, accepted a $500 check from the county district attorney after Grace had fled. It's certainly not a pleasant prospect that the Goldbergs face if the story gets out. Listen. Rosalie, Rosalie, quick, go into Birdie. She's sitting inside in the front room. Go into Jake, why did you do it? What did I do? Birdie heard everything you said when you were calling down to Uncle David oh, when he was on the telephone. Sure, but I was telephoning to my cousin Maximilian. What shall I do? He's going to call me back. What shall I do if Birdie is still here? Just David, only ask him. When he calls back, only ask him talk from one side. Let him listen, talk, only say and ask him what is a felony. If I did a felony, I want to know what's a felony. Can I have a plum, Mrs. Obey? A uh, plum? Um, uh, yes, boy, dip it in the fruit bowl, bowl, darling. Have it, whatever you wish. Why, Jacob, boy, he knows. How much does she know? She heard you say that Grace wasn't your daughter-in-law. But Grace wasn't your daughter-in-law, Jacob. Oh, she heard that Grace wasn't our daughter-in-law, she heard. You have any plums, only peaches, Mrs. Dobbins. Call her in. Yes, call her in and tell her whatever she heard. All right, sure. I'll call her in. Maybe she didn't hear it exactly. Maybe her in retyperation wasn't exactly, exactly what she said. Maybe from upstairs she didn't hear it exactly. Oh, you bitey nose, Jake, David Rose, you bitey nose. Oh, it's know? climax. It's climax. Bitey, bitey. Yes. Birdie. Birdie. Yes? Mm. Come in here, buddy. Sitting yes. in the front room. Come, come in. It's cooler. Thank you, Mrs. Elbow. Come, come in, Birdie. Come in. Um, Birdie. Let me talk, Molly. Uh, Birdie. Birdie. Listen. Birdie. Uh, sit down, buddy. Be, be very comfortable, yeah, sit down, buddy. Why don't you sit down? Uh, look, buddy, dear. My friend you are and was for a long time, buddy. I only want to say 
whatever you heard here, Birdie, must be just exactly... I didn't hear anything. What did I hear? I mean, you heard... Uh, um, you heard that Grace is not my daughter-in-law. Well, that's very ambiguous. Well, so what can we do? We know, we know she was a big... David, di um... David, what, what did I say, David? I'm saying Grace came on false... Uh, David... Whatever Boydie knows was accidental. Well, then. Well, well then, we will be just fine. See, Boydie, whatever you heard, Boydie, wasn't for your ears. Here's a sweater, Ma, if you're chilly. Thank you. Uh, I'm chilly. I'll get you something. Uh, my sleeveless is laying. I'll get it. And, Bertie, I hope we can depend on you not to you're say anything. You're all asking me not to say anything, when the fact of the matter is, there's nothing to say. I don't know anything. After all, if you're taking me into your confidence, well, well, I'm absolutely baffled. Secondly, out of the clear blue sky, Sammy's wife, who is about to have an offspring, is no longer your daughter-in-law. You think you can say she's no longer your daughter-in-law because you had an argument with her? Yeah. Jake, it was an argument. <laughs> it was an argument. Yes, sir. it was an argument. Well, if it wasn't an argument, why was it? Bertie, you've known us for a long time, and if we could tell you, we would. But I never delve into other people's lives. You should know me by now. May I have a peach, Mrs. Goldberg? Peach? Oh, oh it's for me. Jake, it's... you talk. No, I'm, I'm talking. Napkin, Bertie. Thank you. Hello. Who? Who? My cousin. Yes, Mr. Muzzlestone, I want. Let me, David. I knew a Muzzlestone once. Yes, I will. Is he about my age? Yes, I'm, I'm holding. If it's the same, it's the same Muzzlestone. Uh, who, who said the voice to charge it? It's the same Muzzlestone. Hello, Maximilian. His name was Bertram. Uh, hello, Max. It's Max. A felony, David. What's a felony? Ask him. You Dictionary. What do you need a lawyer for? Sharply. Hello, Max. Yeah? Yeah. You see, I, I have to know because... Let me talk. Sharply. Just a minute. Just a minute, Max. Let me talk. If you talk, you'll get a bill. If I talk, Jake, I'm a relation. You want to know if it's a felony or a misdemeanor? Hello, Max. I want to know if it's a felony or a misdemeanor or a what, Jake? Just ask if money that was collected under false pretenses... Say, who collected money under false pretenses? Oh, hello, hello, Max. I want to know if money was collected under false pretenses... I never studied law, but whoever did it will be behind bars for a long time. Yeah, Max. Well, well. Uh, yeah. Bad? Of course it's bad. Uh, well, all right, Max. Uh, all right. Tell me, how, how's Mama? Has he got a brother, Bertram? Mama still lives on the fifth floor. All right, David. Oh, she, she didn't move into an elevator yet? All right, David. Uh, hello, Max. Tell Mama life is short uh, and she should stop walking. Yes, uh, all right, How Max. has he got a brother, Bertram? Thank you, Max. Sometimes if I hear of anybody that needs a lawyer, God forbid, I'll call you. Thank you. Here, yeah. tell Mama I said she should move into an elevator. Sure. Yeah, goodbye. Oh, has he got, got a brother, Bertram? Well, 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 well. <laughs> Jake. Molly, come inside with me. Uh, Rosalie, stay here. Oh, yes, if Ma. you'd rather I left if I'm intruding. There it is. Uh, I go, only I, I told Seymour to pick me up here. I can walk, only I have my high heels on. You don't have to go, Bertie. Well, don't worry, Rosalie, because I hate that... I'm not, only I don't want you to say anything. About your sister-in-law? She's not my sister-in-law. Listen, whatever she did, and it must have been something because of She's felony... She's not my sister-in-law. Legally, she is. And if Sammy loves her, a man sticks if a woman is in trouble. Sammy never even knew her. Rosalie! Bertie... Bertie, I... Rosalie! I'm coming, Ma. Bertie, someday I'll... I'll... Mama's calling you. All right, Uncle David. I'm coming, Ma. Grace never even knew Sammy. Who told you? 
Rosalie. Well, Molly knew it for a long time that Grace and George were married, not Sammy and Grace. Two crooks. Uh, that would be already beside the point. Yes? The money. Uh, Rosie told you? Well, she, uh, the felony... Uh... Uh, the felony will be Molly's. Why? Why, why? Uh, because she knew that they were who they were, and, and, and she let them collect the money from everybody on the false pretense. What money? Rosie, Rosie didn't tell you? Well, uh... The money, the money for the committee for the delinquent children. Uh, telephone. I, I got it. He got it. He got it. Hello? Hello? Yeah? Who? Yes? Yeah. Who? I mean, who, who, who is it? Local or long? Long. Will we have to pay for it, Mom? Who is it? Who is it? Uh, who is it? Yes? Who? Uh, all right. Hello? Oh, Max? It's Max again. Again? again. Yeah. Uh, hello. Yes, Max? What? Yes? What? Oh. What? Oh. There was a case in the Supreme Court. Hellenized. Oh. Case, case uh, number seven. 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 Oh, yeah. Yes. Eight. Eight. Six. Five. Five. Nine. Eight. Nine. Eight. Five. Six. Four. Yes. What seven? Seven. Eight. Six. Four. Six. Four. What David? Voices. What voices? Not voices. Voices. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, what do you want to know, Max? Just tell him that Mrs. Gobey collected money under false pretenses. What? And that her daughter-in-law was not her daughter-in-law. Molly. And if it's less than $10,000 fine and five years in prison, my name is in Beatty Schlitzel. Well, with Bertie in on the secret, it's only a question of time before the story becomes known to everyone in Lastonbury. And if Molly's secret comes out, just what the results will be, no one can predict. You know, we all value friendship pretty highly, don't we? Take Daisy Dussum. She really values her pal Donald's friendship. Daisy said... I told Donald I couldn't get along without him any more than I could get along without Duz. Gosh, that's devotion. Oh, you bet, Daisy. And ladies, you'll be just as devoted to Duz for dishes. This new kind of soap does everything in the wash and has everything for dishes, too. Duz makes suds that stand up till the last dish is done. Cuts grease like 60, yet it's kinder to hands than any other leading granulated wash day soap. Notice how nice your hands feel after a dozen your dishes. And watch how those suds stand up. No need to keep adding soap to finish the greasy pans. And does cuts grease without any hard scouring. Oh, you'll like does. It has everything for dishes. And here's a wartime request. Don't waste does. All soaps contain vitally needed war materials, so always soak pots and pans first in clear water. See to it every bit of does you use does more. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs, written for you by Gertrude Berg. Birdie makes another promise and gets an assistant. This is Clayton Collier speaking and reminding you to do as the dozens do. Let does, the new kind of soap, do everything in your wash.